Hi, today we're going to show you how to do some very simple scripting in Piccolo. We're using Piccolo 4.38, which is available from piccolo.org forward slash download. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take two tables that are in a MySQL database. This could be a SQL database or some other database. And we're going to join them together to create a uh, local table here in Piccolo. So the first table has a tax code in this field with 25,000 records. The second table is just a small table that shows the region that's associated with each tax code. So I'd like to join those together into a new table. So we can go and take the data join option. I'm going to do that by value. We're going to take the MySQL big table, the MySQL tax table. We're going to take tax code, that's the field in the first table, tax is a field in the second table, and we're going to call this join TC. And we have a few options uh, of joining. We can take all the records that are in the first table but don't have a match in the second, all the ones that are in the second but not the first, and then only the matches. Because I know this is a complete data set, there's no harm in taking all of the matches together. What's happening is that as Piccolo runs, it creates in the history file here, the history tab, a view of all the commands that it uses. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to create a script so that I can automate this in the future. So we can see that my first action here in Piccolo was captured in this command join TC. So I'm just going to go right paste, copy that, and let's go under File, New Script. And the first couple of lines are filled in automatically, but I can just paste that now. And if I want to, I can save this script at this point and give it a new name. Let's call this New Script. And we can see it's now a tab here. So I can go back to join TC. And let's say what I'd like to do is extract into a new table all of the records where the tax field is, is either 3, 5, or 6. So what I can do is I can do this as a select using a Piccolo expression. So I have the join TC table here. I can open up the expression builder and say if tax is equal to 3 space or tax is greater than or equal to 5, extract that into a new table. I can validate that before we run it. And the new name will be join TC selected. So that will take about 20 odd seconds to run. Uh, this is 25,000 records. Once you get over a million, two or three million records, you probably want to put this on another computer so you can go off and do other things with your main laptop. This is a Windows 7 laptop that's uh, running, running Piccolo today. And so now we can see here if we do a sort again, descending, that it's just picked up all the tax fields that were 5, 6, or 3. So now if I want to, I can come back into the History tab, and I can see the commands here, Join TC Selected. All I have to do is go copy that, paste it back into my new script. I'm going to hit Control S to save it. And now I'm going to delete these just so we can make sure that they do run. I can delete it from the disk. I can also delete it locally. Okay, so now if I want to, I can go and run this new script. I just highlight that and go run script. And we can see here now that it's doing the join again, and it should filter. So we should see across the top with some tabs here appearing to show join TC, as well as the, the new filtering that we've done. So as you run commands in Piccolo, you'll get used to looking at the history. You'll get used to looking and the coding. You can see it's not particularly complex here. It's uh, highlighted in pink for the things that you might want to change. I could change table names, etc. So that's my join just happened. And now it's extracting those records where the tax code is 3, 5, or 6. So this is a nice way to prototype some stuff. Uh, maybe I want to put this on a server and use the server scheduling option to go and run this overnight so I have results waiting for me in the morning. Again, once you get past a certain scale in Piccolo, you probably want to think about uh, moving it to a separate machine. If you'd like more information on Piccolo, go to piccolo.org, or you can go to internalauditanalytics.com. That's internalauditanalytics.com. There's a bunch of information up there on audit analytic tools, uh, some analytics you might want to work on, and fraud detection. Thanks.